Hello everybody and welcome to another Friends Did You Know? Today's subject, the stick blizzard. Now the stick blizzard used to uh, live here in the Pomona Valley many, many years ago, even before the white man came. How about the same time that the Spaniards showed up, the stick lizards were still around at that time. Now, you're asking, well, why haven't I heard about the stick lizard before, Rand? Well, the Native Americans knew about the stick lizard. They kind of uh, get that as a, uh, you know, a little secret of theirs, uh, just part of their, you know, their, their heritage and stuff like that, part of their living, part of their culture, kind of like a, a not a god, but somebody who they... Kind of looked up to, it, especially the kids, the small kids, because the adults would tell stories about how brave the stick lizard was and all this stuff. Okay, let me get on and tell you about the stick lizard, what he was about. Now, that picture that Pro said in this here video, now there ain't no pictures of the stick lizard, so I had to put something together, you know. Now, the lizard I use is a close relative of the stick lizard, but the difference between this stick lizard and his and his, uh, like his forefathers, whatever, his ancestors, uh, they had a sticky substance on their back. And with this sticky substance, if you see that picture, he's got a stick on his back, right? Now, these lizards, you know, they'd be roaming around here when it was just all desert. And it was hot. You know, that sand gets hot on their little tootsies or their feet. So the lizard got smart. Now, you know, usually the lizard with that sticky substance on his back, now every once in a while that substance will draw flies. And that's how the, some of, that's how the lizard would eat, you know, these flies would land on his back and reach up there and grab the fly. But, the lizard got really smart, you know, because his foot sees to get really hot on the sand there. He decided to get a stick and put it on his back, right? So when he's out there hunting for food and he's out there daylight and the sounds are really hot now and his tootsies are getting really, his little feet are getting warm, he'll grab that stick and jam it in the ground and jump on it and kind of raise one leg up, wave his tootsies up there in the breeze, you know, and then he'd do the same leg, you know, he'd raise one up. And if he's sitting on this stick stand like this, you know, cooling his tootsies, his little footsies off, you know. So then when he thought you're nice and cool, you know, they'd jump back down and grab that stick and put it back on his back and then he'd be on his way. But in the meantime, when he's out walking around, a fly will get on his back and he'll have something to eat and grab it, you know, munch on the fly, you know. So anyway, yeah, that's what the stick lizard was all about. And then he asked, well, how come he ain't still around, the stick lizard? Well, like I said, uh, he, you know, about the time the Spaniards showed up, you know, they started laying these roads all over the trails, you know, with their horses and their armies and stuff. And uh, these stick lizards, you know, they'd be out there and they, unfortunately, you know, they, they, when they footsies get a little hot, they grab their stick and they stick it in the ground. But they didn't know they were sticking in the path of these horses and soldiers and everything else. And when soldiers came by and they were up on the stick, they got stampled, <laughs> in other words, you know. Yeah, the soldiers, the horses, they, yeah, what the heck, a lizard on a stick, just walked right over that guy and just killed him, you know. By the time they left, that old, that lizard just like sprawled out, and, you know, it was like dead on the ground, and next year a crow comes by and pick him up. But that's what happened to stick lizard. They, you know, it just happened more and more often that, uh, you know, they finally came, became extinct. Now, there wasn't that many stick lizards because... The only place they lived was here in Pomona Valley. It's the only place you would find these stick lizards. Now, every once in a while, there's stories that uh, people might have seen a stick lizard up in the Baldy area. But then again, nobody has any pictures of one uh, seeing this old stick lizard anywhere. But the picture I, I have put together is just something like it says. Uh, it was a lizard that's uh, like an ancestor to him. It looks like him. And then I just kind of had a uh, stick on Because this lizard here doesn't have that sticky substance on his back. That's the difference between the stick lizard from a long time ago and then from the lizard today. 
Now, maybe if the lizard had a sticky substance on his back, he'd be out there uh, with a stick and put it in the ground and jump it up when his footsies got warm, you know. But I don't think that would work. He wouldn't last too long because, you know, with the, with the streets and everything, you know, the blacktop, cement, you know, he'd be out there jam, trying to jam a stick in the ground. All of a sudden, <laughs> car come along. You know, kill him. So maybe it was a good thing that the that lizard ain't around anymore. We'll be seeing a lot of these lizards laying out in the street with their sticks laying next to them, you know. Boy, that would be a sad sight to see, you know. Poor lizard. They didn't get a chance to get a stick in the ground when a car came by and run him over. But back, getting back to where the Spaniards were coming about, making trails, and building all these missions and stuff, and enslaving the Native Americans. The lizard was still around back then, but eventually they got uh, run over, stomped on, and killed, and, uh, you know, put out of existence. Because back then, you know, they were just few, like I said, few and far between. But, you know, the other reason back, you know, like I, I had mentioned before, you know, you know, the birds, you know, the, <laughs> the birds see them on the stick. And <laughs> they say, hey, that's easy pick, is it? You know, the lizard get picked off. So, the birds had something to do with it, too. So, can't believe it all on the Spaniards, you know. But anyway, that's a story of the stick lizard that once lived here in the Pomona Valley many, 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 many moons ago. That this little stick lizard used to roam here in Pomona Valley. Interesting, huh? So you dig up a little history, man, and people go, wow, I didn't know that about the stick lizard. Uh, very interesting. But anyway, that's a trip on Mother Nature, you know. They, they teach our little friends how to survive until man comes along and kills them off. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just share this little uh, info with you about. Uh, you know, sick lizard and uh, how he worked with the stick and uh, whatever happened to him. And uh, that's why we don't see the sick lizard here at Pomona Valley anymore. Okay. <laughs> I should have named it Rans, believe it or not. But anyway, if anything shit else come up, <laughs> like always, I'll get back on R. And if, if any more of these tales of Pomona Valley come around again and just happen to remember them in my dense file here I have in my head and I'll get back on the horn okay folks <laughs> like always you take care and uh, you take care of those ones you love thank you thank you very much bye